Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings-on from the week that was. So here we are for another exciting episode on Sunday the 14th of April 2019 and we are going to get straight into it this week with a release for the ESP world. And this week we're starting with the guys over at Airplane Heaven releasing their long hinted at and long showcased Heinkel HE111P2. Um, now, for me, this is very much a an aircraft that sort of really resonates with me. So, it's, when I was growing up as a kid, I, I watched uh, the Battle of Britain many, many times. I'm pretty sure I wore out the Betamax tape that, that it was on. Um, so, for me, this aircraft is it's it's great to see a really highly detailed rendition of this one coming out. Uh, coming to our, uh, our flight simulation world, uh, especially it brought to us by the likes of a great team behind Airplane Heaven. Um, so this has come through to a very highly detailed rendition of the aircraft with highly detailed 3D model, both internally and externally. Uh, fully functional um, aircraft air, avionics as best it can with all the uh, basic steam gauges and all the radio systems all in, uh, working, radio navigation all working as well. Uh, come through with a whole heap of animations, both internally and externally. As I said, high detail 3D resolutions, uh, 3D modeling of all the interior and exterior, exterior parts of it with a beautiful high definition texture kit as well. Um, this is the, 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 the P2 variant, which was the one that which is um, primarily around sort of during the Battle of Britain. Now, the great part about this one is, is the guys have come out through and the Airplane Heaven have really um, come through here as well with a very high quality sound set, um, a custom sound set that's been included for here for uh, for use with the aircraft as well. Now, um, what they've these guys, these guys, the guys have released it for ESP and they have really very much embraced the diversity of the uh, ESP platform range. Um, now, they have gone through with a, a similar... Um, uh, similar protocol with many developers where they are offering a two price point version. So they are offering two price points based on which version of the ESP platforms you have. Um, now what they are looking at here, what they've done here is really quite interesting. Where they've cut the line is where Lockheed Martin did the release of prepared V4 and made the move to start um, enabling uh, uh, physics-based rendering textures, uh, which for those who may be under a rock, that was version 4.4. So that means that they, the first version that's been made available is their ESP versions, which includes FSX and prepared 1, 2, 3, and 4, all the way up to 4.3. That version is available as sort of like release 1. Release 2 is the prepared V4.4 and 4.5 plus version. So 4.5 came out this week, although I won't be covering it in too much detail in the news this week. Um, uh, prepared V4 did have a update this week. They did, did get moved into 4.5. Mostly bug fixes and a couple of extra things have included at PBR texturing now, but really that's about it. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's the second version as well. Now, what they are also offering, they are also offering a Heinkel bundle. Um, now, in an ideal world, it would have been great if they did actually offer this, you know, just with just one installer covers all the sims, but instead, uh, what they have offered, they offered that you can get the Heinkel bundle, which includes both versions. So if you are a multi-platform simmer such as myself, I have uh, prepared V3 and V4. I actually, I'm still on 4.3, funnily enough. I'm actually not actually on 4.4 yet, or 4.5. Um, as well as FSX um, and Prepared V2 on here as well. Um, you do have the option of being able to get either platform as well. Now, if you do want to have both, you do get it for $36.95. So it's only $7 extra uh, to actually be able to have the two together. So it's a pretty cool way uh, of doing uh, of doing that rolling out. And I'm pretty much that's a, an acceptable sort of uh, sort of you know, price point to be able to go through that. So it's a very reasonably priced aircraft for a very highly detailed um, and uh, beautifully crafted uh, 3D model for this one and uh, looking pretty damn amazing. As I said, so the uh, main packages are looking at 30 US dollars each um, or 37 US dollars for, for the combined pack available now from the Airplane Heaven store. They are looking at bringing it to other major flight sim retailers in the near future, uh, but for now it is only available from the Airplane Heaven store available now. Moving from air, uh, move from airplane heaven, moving into a uh, Milvis. Milvis's latest release this year. This it was so we saw the release of their T38C Talon, which is their latest release in their advanced series of aircraft. Um, so this is the this is built on their previous experience of the T38A. Um, so for those who don't may not know what the Talon is, it's a it's essentially the two seat version of the F5 Freedom Fighter, um, which was a, a lightweight fighter back in the day, back during the um, during the middle of the Cold War. 
And the T38 represented the, um, the, the the trainer variant of it, as it were. The T38A was the the primary one, was uh, would serve um, decades, was would train decades of USAF fast fast jet pilots. Um, and it would later be uh, modernised into the T38C. So T38A was very much a steam driven, uh, was, you know, sort of steam gauges, uh, sort of cockpit, uh, sort of an early version uh, of the turbojet engine. Whereas the T38C would go through would be uprated engines and would have a full uh, implementation of a glass cockpit as well. Uh, but it continues, and they continue to fly for the US Air Force, uh, for NASA and various other agencies uh, to this day. So it's a really unique piece of aviation history that. Uh, as it's been flying now and training uh, flight crews for you know, the basic airframe for over 50 years. Um, so yeah, pretty damn cool. Um, as I said, the, 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 this, this, this rendition of the aircraft was from the early 2000s when the Air Force chose to actually um, extend the life of the T-38s rather than actually purchase a new airframe. Uh, obviously, they have you know, since changed that idea, the new airframe with the TFX uh, being won by Boeing um, has, uh, of course, will be the next generation of fighter. But in the meantime, the T-38C will continue to soldier on. But uh, from that, uh, there's uh, the guys at Millfields have built on their T-38A experience and produced the T-38C with the, all the uh, incorporated the avionics upgrades that go with that, including a fully uh, dynamic, fully functional HUD, GPS, inertial navigation system, TCAS, uh, and propulsion modification systems um, for the to allow for low altitude engine thrust as well. Yeah, it also is fully compatible uh, with VRS TAC Pack, uh, and it does the something that's common for the advanced series from Milvis, where it actually serves, uh, runs a separate flight control system and physics engine outside of the actual uh, prepared uh, flight model uh, to actually allow it to do some of the things that you can't normally do inside of the sim. Uh, now they claim that it has been fully tested by uh, serving uh, by current and serving U.S. Air Force T-38C instructor pilots, uh, and they do have a unique failure and damaging model system, including bird strikes, which I thought was rather interesting. And as I said before, it fully uh, fully supporting of TAC pack uh, systems as well, uh, including uh, integration of air to air, air to ground systems, and uh, um, as well as the the enhanced envelope gun sight system um, and also with uh, no drop bomb scoring systems as well. So, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Now, what is interesting about this one as well is that um, Milvis are very known for their version support is they are very specific with what versions of what platforms they support. Now this is a prepared V4 exclusive and this is a prepared V4.4 exclusive as well. So specifically with, um, and there's a specific version which it will actually support. Um, so this time they have not made a comment with the uh, latest release this week of version 4.5. Um, you know, potentially it should work, whether it will or whether it won't, who knows, we don't know. Uh, but again, either way, uh, tack pack will be broken until such times as the tech guys have a tack pack update it. So anyway, so if y'all wanted to pick this one up, this was coming in at eighty US dollars if or your regional equivalent available from the Milvis store. There is no discount available for existing owners of the T thirty eight A in case you were hoping to be able to get some uh, save some money. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it is a full new purchase of eighty US dollars from the Milvis store available now. Moving to scenery releases for the ESP world this week. So we saw the guys over at Jetstream Designs release their rendition of Paris Orly V for uh, Paris Orly Airport uh, for prepared V3. So the guys over at Jetstream actually released this one for prepared V4 last year. I think it was, I think it was November. I think I'm pretty sure it was about November that they uh, released it. But um, uh, either way, they've now brought it over to brought it back in line with Prepare V3 as well. Um, so still a prepared exclusive, but it does give the option for users like myself who might still be using Prepare V3. Uh, we are allowed to now have it in our simulator skies as well. Uh, now it includes uh, full implementation of uh, SOD gateways and other SOD elements, uh, native prepared ground textures, and in, in full implementation of their wet effects. Wet, uh, surface effects as well. Full use of volumetric grass, detailed airport objects and vehicles, updated 3D objects and 3D buildings of the airport as it appears uh, during 2018. Um uh, sorry, apologies. As the airport was planned to look at the start of 2019, uh, it's one of those things where they initially did, where they did it off plan. So whether or not it's, it's, we're not 100 percent sure how, how accurate it looks now. Haven't been to Paris Orly in a few years. Uh, otherwise, also includes animated uh, Orly the uh, the Orly train that heads into Paris as well. Uh, full use of 3D taxi taxi lights and ramp uh, ramp lights as well. 
included a full use of a custom auto gen for the surrounding countryside, uh, full use of a night environment lighting and textures as well, and implementation of full multi-season photoreal scenery for the system as well. Fully compatible with Visual Docking System for GSX and GSX Level 2 compatible uh, is uh, um, Jetways as well. Um, beyond that, as I said, the really great thing that I saw about Jetstream Designs for this one, which is really, really cool, and I'm really happy about this one, um, is the fact that if you are a previous purchaser um, of this for the Prepared V4 version, you are getting the Prepared V3 version for free, um, or and also conversely, the other way around as well. So if you buy this one now as a V3 owner, um, you will also get access to the V4 version for v V4 version for free as well. So that is a great way to actually sort of um, uh, give back to the community and allow the community to actually sort of you know, you know take advantage of multi sims for multi reasons so um, really well done Jetstream really happy and proud of you guys for doing that so well done thank you very much uh, for those wanting to pick this one up you are looking at a 28 US dollars or your regional equivalent available now from sim markets Continuing on with other simulator, with other scenery releases this week, the guys over at Latin VFR have left Latin America, moved back into continental US with their release of New Orleans International uh, Airport, or as a friend of mine who lived there, who lives there says New Orleans International Airport, she would remind me, I should say. But anyway, uh, this includes uh, all airport buildings uh, in full, uh, in high quality 3D detail and custom uh, texturing uh, for the airport as it appears uh, at the start of 2019. Um, and actually, sorry, actually, as it, w as it will appear in May 2019 with the new terminal building being opened as well. Uh, it also includes the old terminal, the old slash current terminal and Concourse D, which will remain part of it after the, uh, after the other parts of it are demolished. Uh, includes customized AI ship traffic for the Mississippi River, um, and including with, with, uh, with custom ships for that are suitable for the river, um, from the uh, very famous AI producer Henrik Nielsen. It also includes SOD animated jetways, SOD control uh, lighting, and including for visibility in low and wet weather conditions. Uh, control SOD controlled rain effects, including enabling wet uh, PBR surfacing, uh, texture surfacing as well. Sorry, it does include uh, full use or implementation of prepared V4s. Uh, PBR materials are included with this as well. Also includes 30 square miles of photoreal scenery for the surrounding area with custom and manually placed or custom auto gen for the uh, area as well as along with a variety of landmarks and seasonal texture sets are included as well. So obviously given the fact that it is it does support PBR we are of course meaning that this is a prepared v4.4 or higher version exclusive um, so you will only be able to use one for the latest couple of versions of prepared v4. So this one's available now direct from Latin VFR for 23 US dollars or your original equivalent available now. Moving back into the world of Steam Edition for a second, we saw in, uh, one of the uh, re Steam Edition re-releases that we haven't seen that we uh, sort of see every now and again. We still we still see uh, the guys over at Just Flight have brought their uh, VFR real world uh, real real scenery next gen 3D. Oh, that is quite a mouthful, that one, that title. Anyway, so this is their VFR Real Scenery Next Gen 3D Volume 1 Southern England, South Wales add-on. Uh, so this is their latest version of a sort of photo real scenery uh, for the south of England, actually designed to compete directly with Orbix's True Earth um, UK, uh, GB South. Uh, now this one includes a uh, variety of sceneries from the southern parts of the United Kingdom and Wales. Uh, gives you a full a scenery manager to be able to modify things like that. So as I said, this has actually been out for a couple of for about. I want to say about two or three months this has been out already. I'm pretty sure I've reported on this already. Uh, includes uh, looking at anywhere between uh, 60 centimeter, sorry, anywhere between 25 centimeter pixel resolution up to 1.2 meter per pixel resolution um, aerial photography is included here. With also with a custom ultra high definition uh, terrain mesh has been included for this, the surrounding area as well, along with a custom 3D auto gen for the buildings and vegetation, accurately placed based off the photo real imagery and put in here along with a variety of landmark objects. Now, come, something to note of this one as we always do with this one. So this is, as I said, a Steam Edition uh, exclusive release. Now, um, this has been available for all platforms including uh, the including Steam Edition um, available from the Just Flight store now for a few months already. 
So this one's price-wise, this one's uh, coming in at 38 US dollars, which is funnily enough, the exact same price that it is on the Just Flight store. So um, I'm gonna straight up and say that if you're gonna buy this, buy it from the Just Flight store rather than from the Steam Edition store, simply because the one that you buy from Just Flight directly will work with multiple SIMs. So it will work with all of the uh, ESP family, including up to and including Prepared V4. Um, whereas so you're not locked into just F6 Steam Edition, which is, uh, it's a bit of a shame that for whatever reason the price point that's been set is um, the, the same as the normal retail one you're not getting that usual discount that we see because it is the locks you into Steam Edition so that's a bit of a shame um, to see that so as I said if you are going to pick this one up as I said it looks pretty good um, pick this one up head over directly over to Just Flight to grab that one if you want to pick this up otherwise if you do want to get it and you are only ever going to fly an F6 Steam Edition um, then yeah you can pick it up on Steam available now moving out of the flight simulation world and moving into the world of the permanent way. The guys are at Train Sim World have released their latest locomotive uh, in the form of the Deutsche Bahnhof BR-182. Uh, so this is a, a very uh, versatile, universal uh, locomotive uh, designed by uh, the, for a Deutsche Bahnhof um, requirement to be able to offer, offer, offer a multitude of freight and passenger services throughout Germany and, or Germany and Austria. Um, so the fleet would go through and uh, sort of go through would do a variety of roles, including the center middle middle German uh, S-Bahn, uh, while going through to other said so both rail both passenger and freight rail duties um, throughout um, Germany for its uh, lifetime. Now this one does include is is primarily being done through done with a color scheme during its use as the rapid transit route uh, through middle uh, middle Germany in the S-Bahn S2 line during its transitional period. Uh, when it was going uh, from the when the, the end of its life um, it was going through from moving from the DBBR 182s moving into the DBBR 1442s. Now this uh, model is a highly detailed accurate rendition of the uh, BR 182 electric locomotive locomotive the locomotive while also including uh, the double stock wagon and control truck control car also in the DB traffic red livery includes accurate true to life performance and handling including with uh, accurate, accurately modeled and coded driving cabs with interactive controls including the uh, melodic acceleration and deceleration motor sequence also includes three scenarios are available here as uh, included here as well um, however they which do however require the use of the rapid transit uh, scenario um, to be able to make use of the included uh, scenario add-ons Otherwise, uh, available now for flight, for Train Sim World coming in at twenty US dollars or your regional equivalent. Available now on Steam. Moving to Dovetail's other Train Simulator, Train Simulator 2019. Well, this was sort of the release of a couple of releases this week. The first one being their release of the OBB 1293 locomotive. Um, so this is one of the pro range uh, of their pro range trains uh, for of giving a rendition of a Austrian. Uh, 1293 model uh, and it's come through which was a release during the early 2000s as part of the Euro Sprinter family of locomotives oh sorry so to replace the Euro Sprinter family of locomotives uh, as they came to the end of their life uh, this would actually go through and actually came through but during the um, mid to so during uh, 2016 2017 these came into service uh, i would actually go through and be able to operate in multi uh, multi country multi multinational services uh, by operating between um, various european countries and being able to use throughout not only austria but also into germany hungary the czech republic and into slovakia uh, these trains again much like the uh, the other one we talked about was also designed to be able to be perfectly at home pulling not only passenger services but also freight services through all of those those countries and well into Italy as well. So uh, this uh, includes a highly detailed rendition of uh, the train, including a highly detailed 3D, 3D model, fully implemented driving cab, including implementation of all onboard electric systems, uh, multi and multiple systems, including 25 kilovolt and 3 kilovolt variants are included as well. Full implementation of authentic CIFA, PZB, and LZB operation, and a full supplement of the cruise control setup, and as well as um, full modeling of the braking and anti-slip modeling uh, protection systems are included as well. 
also includes the systems and procedures for being able to change over countries and railroads as you go through them as well. Now, also includes three career scenarios for including this one. However, you do require the Tirol Brenner, Brenner Kofstein route add-on to in order to be able to use the three workshop scenario, the, the three scenarios that come with it. Otherwise, it is fully quick drive compatible and compatible with the Steam workshop scenarios as well. So if you are wanting to pick this one up to add to your virtual train rail house, you are looking at paying 20 US dollars to average equivalent for this one available now on Steam. And rounding out the train simulator releases for this week, we saw the release of the LMS period one non-corridor coach packs early and late versions. Um, so this is basically just a uh, texture pack uh, for uh, various pieces of rolling stock uh, for the uh, LMS railway service, which was a uh, British railway uh, service uh, throughout sort of the 19, so 1950s, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Um, now this includes a uh, full imitation of the their maroon livery in uh, both the early and late versions with the yellow, the different ways that the yellow was used to actually uh, to highlight that. Uh, was used to, this uh, includes uh, colour schemes for the non-corridor coaches as well as the brake third composite, lavatory brake third, lavatory composite, lavatory first class and third class. Um, coaches are all included. Uh, various, there are a variety of scenarios that may include these available available from the Steam Workshop, so this can be added on for various uh, trains as well. Now, each of these packs are coming in at five US dollars each, so uh, looking at around about just shy of a dollar per livery uh, to be able to add this to your train simulator, add this uh, rolling stock to your system available now on Steam. All right, and rounding out the simulation release news for this week, and oh dear God, this is another one of those releases where I look at it and go, I do this because I must always report the news. And this is the launch of F-18 Carrier Landing. Now, when I saw this, I immediately looked at the trailer for it, and I was like, this looks awfully familiar. Pretty sure I've reported on this before, and I checked my notes, and I haven't reported on F-18 carrier landing before. However, I have reported on Flying Aces Navy Pilot Simulator before. And you know what? It's the same damn thing. Except Navy Ace, Flying Aces Navy Pilot Simulator is supposed to be a fully fleshed out sim which includes both missions as well as carrier ops, whereas the F-18 carrier landing sim that was just launched this week appears to be focused just on uh, doing carrier landings. Now, one of the things that made this incredibly... Cr so, uh, but actually, before that, I'm going to go through. So, it features, apparently, again, it's literally... The description has been cut... Co has been copy and pasted directly from... Um, Flying Aces Navy Pilot Simulator, right down to the fact that the last sign says your input, feedback, and contributions are crucial to the success of Navy Pilot Simulator. Probably should have spell-checked that before launching on the, on the Steam Store. Anyway, but it claims, same as it did before, the full-touch controls, true-to-life graphics, ultra-detailed aircraft models and cockpit, ultra-detailed aircraft carrier model, realistic physics engine, varied weather, voluminous cows, landing grading system. All right, so what I'm going to say is the video that we're watching right now in the background is the promo video they've got for it, which is, again, was lifted directly from the video of uh, the, 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 again, what is it, what is it, Flying Aces? Um, yeah, okay, no, just no, just no. Um, I can feel Belgier watching this right now and actually cringing. I can feel him rage typing, uh, going, that's not how you land onto an aircraft carrier. Anyway, um, so yeah, as I said, it's one of those things, it looks like a blatant cash grab. Um, so I'm going to just put something, I'm just going to put a, a comment out here as well. Now this is launched into early access, along, same with the other title, uh, Flying Aces. Now, um, I'm quoting directly from the early access sort of blurb on the F-18 carrier landing sim. It says, uh, approximately how long will this game be in early access? The game will be in early access approximately four to eight weeks. Uh, incidentally, folks, this is designed, this is VR only. This requires VR um, and it is only compatible with Oculus Rift. Now, if I read that same early access blurb for Flying Aces Navy Pilot Simulator, it says, 
how, approximately how long will this game be in early access? And it says the game will be in early access approximately four to eight weeks. I would just like to remind everybody that a Flying Aces Navy Pilot Simulator was launched into early access on the 13th of December 2018. Little bit more than eight weeks. Um, so, yeah, just just a hefty, hefty dose of salt if you do choose to actually purchase this one. Um, if you do, don't. Um, my advice would be if you want to land an F-18 on a carrier in VR, go by yourself, go grab, go grab DCS and grab yourself the F-18 out of that. And that will teach you not only how to land on it, but it'll also teach you, teach you how to fly it. There also seems to be some difference of text opinion about whether this is modeling a classic Hornet or a Super Hornet. Um, the blurb of Navy Flight Sim, Navy Carrier Sims claims that it's a Super Hornet, but looking at the visuals, that looks very much like a classic Hornet to me. So I'll leave it up to you guys to decide. But anyway, if you are wanting to pick this one up for whatever reason, don't know why, but if you did, you're looking at five US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. And with that, that now rounds out the over wrap for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying these videos and want to see more. And you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter. Just search Novawing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.